here we have a Dewhurst button. Dewhurst US91 slash 15. Um, 24 volt, but I'm powering it with 12 because I haven't got a 24 volt power supply. Well, the one I do have is can't power this up for some reason. So I have this. Um, the reason this is there because the, the the very tiny wire off this would not fit in that for some reason. So I've got a, a bit bigger wire to go in. So that works now. Probably isn't even positive either. Um, but it's red as you can see. And I'm going to be opening this up today. Because I think this is broken. No, this isn't broken. The other one is there. And yeah, that one I can't find. So I'm going to open this one up, the one that isn't broken. Um, the, the other one's broken because I, I opened it up. So I don't know how about break this one because they're actually quite nice. People hate Dewhurst, but you know, it's the first it's the first set of buttons I got. So can't really hate them for that. As you can see, there isn't much to them. Four terminals there, two for the light and two for the um, switch contacts. Obviously, it goes. Um, as you can see, there, 24 volt red screw. I'm assuming that says screw terminal because most most of the buttons have little spade terminals on them. These are lucky they have screw terminals because I haven't got anything just for spade terminals. So here we go. Let's let's work on a focus. There we go. Um, auto focus. Okay, I haven't got a clue what I've touched on. Um, is it focusing? Yeah, now it is. Um, I'm opening this with, with the camera's viewfinder, so I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm not going to power it off because I can't be asked. Right, here we go. There we go. So, that's probably going to swamp the camera out, so I'll unplug it. There are the LEDs there. Let's get our screwdriver. I, there and there. That's the big switch. Clicky, clicky. Um, I'm assuming those things there are bridge rectifiers because this can take AC or DC for the light. Um, and they're obviously resistors. It works from about 5 volt USB to 24 volt, obviously. Probably work a bit higher than that as well, but I don't want to risk it. So yeah, not much to them. I haven't figured out how to get the circuit board out yet, but I'll try and do that now. Without breaking it would be nice, but if I break it then whatever. I've got about 10 of these things. Oh, that isn't going to happen anytime soon. I've got to get all the wires out. Let's do that then. I'll pause. I ended up breaking one of the terminals. Um, whatever. It's still, that's, that's, it will be broken anyway. So let's um, pop this out. Somehow. Somehow. There we go. Come on. Oh, there's springs in it, isn't there? I'm surprised if I don't break this. Oh, there we go. Uh, not much on the other side, apart from that. 4 watts. That's quite a lot of power for two LEDs, but okay. Um, yeah. What's the value of the resistors? Maybe it focuses. If it didn't want to. I'll read it. Uh, 115. The bottom one down there was 4,747k. Um, so yeah. Click your switch. Uh, let's put that back in. I'll pause. I've completely ruined my camera's autofocus. Um, so right, that's done. Look at that. Oh, for God's sake, focus. There we go. That's the presser itself. Oh my, this is going to really annoy me. Um, probably you, probably the people of you know as well. So that's the presser thing itself. Clear polycarbonate, I believe that is. And the back of it there. And here's just a little, quite heavy metal thing that goes into it. Makes it all stay in place. Let's put it back together. And um, we've got to do it carefully so you don't break it. Don't want to break it. Um this is this is this is how I broke it last time putting it back together. Sounds good. And they haven't clicked, so that's good. Um ignore that. Um ah, great, it's more quieter now for some reason. I haven't got a clue why it's more quieter. That's annoyed me for some reason. Okay then, I'm going to try and fix that on off camera because that's just annoying. Right, I'm going to go and get my other panel in now. Right, here's one of these buttons, but obviously mounted inside a panel. This is the original panel that it came in. Quite long. I've obviously rewired the LEDs. Um, well, not rewired them. Um, I put some different LEDs behind it, which you can't really see. There, just two LED strips and some circuitry. 
buzzer power thing obviously and the circuit board for a timer circuit which I've put in, relay there and this switch here turns the buzzer on and off. Let's plug that back in, you can't see a thing, um, focus, okay don't bother. Um, when, I, when you press it it goes white for 10 seconds I think it is, oh my god's sake, and it beeps. Um, yeah, um, that will go white in a, back to blue in a few seconds. And click. There we go. Uh, let's, let's do that again. We're looking at the pack. There we go. It's quite loud, but yeah. Watch all that. This is this controls the buzzer. But yeah. Now, now the button doesn't beep anymore. Let's now turn it off and look at the circuitry. All this stuff I put in myself, the button is pretty much being just just being used for, for its button contacts. Let's turn, let's turn a big light on. There we go, that's probably swapping the headcam out. No, it hasn't, that's amazing. Right, so that's all the circuitry inside it. Um, uh, focus, for God's sake. There we go, same button as just, I just took the bits here. Just obviously in a thing and the lights, pardon me, the lights in this thing aren't, aren't actually used. I've used some LED strips here. Um, yeah, those wires are for power. If I want to you know, connect, connect the that light back in, which I probably won't be doing. I think they're for power, I actually know. So yes, that's it. Um, this is probably one of my longest videos. That's it and thank you for watching.